Hi again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will take a look at what is commonly known as the Kinneret or Jesus Bolt. This bolt which measures approximately 27 feet long and 7.5 feet wide was discovered by two Jewish brothers as they explored the northwestern shore of the Sea of Galilee after a particularly severe drought in 1986. The low water level of the lake had exposed the remains of this ancient boat. The mud of the lake had also helped to preserve both the wood and the shape of the boat. After being excavated out of the mud, it was then covered in fiberglass and polyurethane and was floated on the lake to a special tank where it was left to soak in a chemical preservative solution for 10 years. It is now publicly displayed in a special museum near where it was found by the Sea of Galilee. The use of mortise and tenon joints to construct the boat was the first piece of evidence of its great age. Carbon-14 Dayton has also dated it to somewhere between the years 120 BC to 40 AD, which puts it within the time frame of the ministry of Jesus and the Apostles. This has resulted in many calling it the Jesus Bolt as a result, based on the fact that Jesus and his disciples on several occasions in the Gospels used boats on the Sea of Galilee. Though there is no evidence to either prove or disprove that Jesus or the apostles owned or used this particular boat. In fact, many people in the first century AD, besides Jesus and his disciples, owned and used boats on the Sea of Galilee. This is demonstrated in passages like John chapter 6 verse 23, when it states that, Howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread after the Lord had given thanks. The town of Tiberias is actually just to the south of where this ancient boat was discovered. Also in Mark chapter 4 verse 36 it states that at least on one occasion other ships followed Jesus across the Sea of Galilee. Josephus in the Jewish Wars in book 3 chapter 10 also states that there were a great many boats and ships on the Sea of Galilee by the time of and during the Great Jewish Revolt, which started in 66 AD. This boat appears to have been initially constructed of, and over time repaired with, a selection of several different types of wood. It was apparently then stripped of any useful materials and parts before it was abandoned at some point in the 1st century AD. Now based on the size of the boat, it has been speculated that it could hold a crew of anywhere between 12 to 15 men. This size indicates that it would have been possible for both Jesus and his 12 apostles to use a boat similar to this one to cross the Sea of Galilee together. Just as passages like Mark chapter 4 verses 36 to 41 and Luke chapter 8 verses 22 to 26 clearly indicate happened. Whether this particular boat was used by Jesus and his disciples or not, it does demonstrate that such boats did exist on the Sea of Galilee at the time of Jesus' public ministry, just as the Gospels record. It also gives an important insight into what these boats would have been like. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.